today. I was sent this thing in the mail. So let's open it. Got my handy dandy scissors. Where do I open this from? Can I even use scissors for this? I don't want to stab myself. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself. This isn't, I, I'm not good with boxes. This isn't, oh, there we go. That's working. Ah, I just tore that. It's sticking to me. It is sticking to me. There we go. It smells fresh. I don't know what that is, but I see something. So I'm kind of excited. Free gifts, it says. What is this? I don't know, but I'm excited. Okay, is there anything else in here? Nope, there's a bunch of bubble wrap. Oh, yeah. Fun. Ooh, oh, I see. It's like a thing. I, do, I don't know, but I like it, okay? Um, it's very fun looking. Okay, so I'm still trying to like decipher what this is. It's just so flashy. Like everything on it just wants to be red. I don't know. Ooh, it says edible treasure on the back. Do you see that? It says edible treasure right there in big letters. And you know, I love candy. So hopefully it's something good. Anyway, let's just go ahead and like rip right into it, I guess. Oh my God. Oh my God. I see what it is. It's literally an animal jam magazine. Okay, so let me tell you a story. When I was a kid, these type of magazines were my favorite. Like the National Geographic ones, or like the kids highlight ones, I think they were called. They had just a bunch of fun activities, and it was very fun. And I used to read like those teen magazines just because they looked like this and they look fun. I don't know, Ugh, it looks so exciting. Look at that, guys, that is amazing. I'm so excited to read this thing. Okay, so on the front cover it says win, right there, so I'm assuming you can win something. I'm excited. I don't know. And this hair keeps going on my face. I really need a haircut. Like, look at all of this stuff. It needs to get chopped off of my head. All right, so let's kind of go through this thing, because I'm excited. Oh, the name game. Ooh, I love these things. Okay, I play these on Instagram all the time. Play along to create a jammerific name. So match the first letter of your first name. That's S. Um, so that'd be pouncing. Nice. Step two, match the first letter of your surname, which means last name, which would be B, and that's dash. So pouncing dash. And then step three, write down your date of birth and add up all the numbers until you're left with one single digit. Then find your number in the list below. All right, guys, if you want to do this, play along and put yours in the comment section down below because someone just stole my seat. Do you want to be in this video with me, sir? Okay, he can be in the video. I guess I'll just have to come down here a little bit. So let me add those things up and I will find out what my um, step three thing is. Oh, really? You're leaving me? Oh, my dog is so unloyal. Why can't I do basic math in my head? Five plus eight. Oh, 13 plus one, 14. And then four plus one is five. So five is cheetah. So I am pouncing dash cheetah. That actually makes sense because they pounce and they dash and cheetahs because they're cheetahs, you know? So, wow, that makes sense. I like that. They have a section for you to write down what your animal name is. I'm totally going to do that <gasps> with my Wisteria Moon pens. Hello. So in one of my videos, I ordered a ton of Animal Jam merch and all of it came. Like the Wisteria Moon stuff and the typical Rocky stuff and all of the stuff came. And I just came yesterday, so I've still been waiting to do a video on it. And I guess this is the perfect time since I'm doing an Animal Jam box opening thing anyway. Let's just show you what I got. So Wisteria Moon is amazing. I text her and told her, hey, I got some of your merch. And she decided, because she saw my name on the order, to send me a bunch of stickers that I didn't order. So thank you for that. Look at all these stickers. Look at all these mysterious stickers. Yeah. I don't know why I just did that. Um, I embarrass myself sometimes. So I got those. Then of course, the book I ordered, Stay Snazzy. And enclosed in this, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful signature. Forever Snazzy, Steering Moon. I love it. And then there's this sticker pack that I ordered, so spread the loaf and stay snazzy. And also, of course, just the regular Wisteria Moon sticker, which I love. It's cute. Excited. And not only did she give me free stickers, like the, the headshot ones, these ones. I ordered these ones, but she gave me these ones for free. Anyway, she gave me those stickers for free, but she also gave me 
this lovely wisteria moon wristband it says wisteria moon on it and i love it look at it look at it look at it look at it it's like very nice now of course the pens that i got which i will be using in a second a blue one and a pink one very good pens and then she also sent me another free thing look at this oh wrong way look at this oh look at <laughs> I'm having some issues. Look at this. It says spread the loaf. She sent me a free spread the loaf t-shirt. Ah! I'm so excited about it. Look at that. I love it. I'm so excited. So that is the Wisteria Moon merch that I got. I'll keep this blue pen out. I have yet to use it, so I'm actually excited. Now on to the next one, which is this. It's, um, I don't know. I actually haven't opened it yet, so I'm actually excited to see what it is. I think it's Love With Songs sticker. Could be wrong, though. Oh, no, 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 this is Jelly Jones's sticker. Look at that. It comes on a very long sheet for some reason. And there it is. It's a very high quality looking sticker on a very long sheet. For some reason, they just didn't bother to like cut this section off. But that's okay. I'm enjoying the Jelly Jones sticker. And I think that that's the only thing. Nope. Is there another thing in here? Oh, it's just, it's just a red bubble sticker. Like they always send these with whatever purchase you get. They're really fun to apply though. So let's just stick that right yonder and now i will throw it away goodbye package except for this this will stay over yonder next up is this this is your new thing it says and it is my new thing this is the graphic design that i got from typical rocky and look at that it's amazing i'm so excited to wear this like actually look at it it's so good looking it's so good looking carefully fold it back up and back into its little ziploc bag because I have a lot of pets, and one thing you have to do if you have pets is hide all of your clothing, because otherwise it gets fur everywhere. Next up is this, and it's another black piece of clothing. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed Scorm, then you're right. The Scorm shirt. I'm excited about it. It looks kind of off-center, but that's okay, because you know my boy Scorm. It's alright, I'll still represent him. So yeah, I'm happy I got that. And finally, the last thing of the night that I have gotten is, hold on, let me put this back, is this, oh wait, you can't really see, is this my Apari hoodie. I've worn it all day today. Nobody knows that it's about Animal Jam, and I think it's pretty stylish, okay? So it's, it's also very comfortable. And um, it also attracts a lot of fur, as you can see. Like, look at all that fur. But that's also because I have like a ton of pets, so I wasn't really expecting anything less, but I love it. And it's very soft, and I wore it to bed last night, and I wore it to school today, and it's, it's very comfortable, okay? Very comfortable. I have yet to wear anything else besides this wristband. This wristband is pretty nice, but it keeps slipping down all the way to my forearm. That's not where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go here. But it's a nice wristband. It's very high quality. It's like... It's like those you get, you know, when you go to like a concert or something. I don't know. They're like your stereotypical rubber wristband. Anyway, back to the magazine. Where did my pen go? Oh, it's in my lap. Okay. So with our pen, we will write, my animal name is Pouncing. Well, would you look at that? I know you can't really see it because it's not focusing, but there's like a little rubber ball. You see that? That little rubber ball that was on this pen to protect it. How lovely. And now, now I will write my name. Ooh, these write so smoothly. Pouncing Dash Cheetah. My handwriting is horrible, but you get the point. Also, I think it's supposed to be Dash Cheetah. Like, you know, like how Animal Jam is like a one word and then the two word last name. I think that's how it was supposed to be, but I didn't do it like that, so, oh well. It kind of sounds like their name is Pouncing and then Hyphen Cheetah because, you know, Dash, people say Dash instead of Hyphen, so it's like Pouncing Cheetah. I don't I think it's a cool name. Welcome to the 100% official Animal Jam magazine. It's packed full of animal antics, fun facts, quizzes, puzzles, gaming hints, and tips, plus awesome free gifts. It's the must-have mag for jammers everywhere. This is like Mirazine, but made by actual Animal Jam. Lit. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh. So we up in Jamal, man, looking to jam me and the jam fam. Yeah, you know that we can throw the biggest party that AJ ever did. So listen up quick. Let me go down the list. So we got Wisteria Moon, Lorna. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. There's always something in the wonderful world of Jama. Belouche. This forgotten land was once inhabited by some of Jama's ancient animals. Mount Shavir. 
Here you'll find the Shavir shop where you can buy winter clothing. Appendale. The longer you stay in the mud pool in Appendale, the more mud you'll end up covered in. Jama Township. Jama Township is where you'll find the main clothing shop, Jam Mart Clothing, and the main den item shop, Jam Mart Furniture. Kimbara Outback. Kimbara Outback is where you'll find Gabby's Animal Hospital. Lost Temple of Zios. This lush land is filled with knowledge and mystery. And it just keeps going on with all the different lands. I love that. It's such a cool idea.